Hey, hey, Mrs. Kimball and Paul here from Kids Cook Real Food. Homemade guacamole is truly one of our family's favorite recipes. It's pretty much the first recipe I ever taught Paul when he was in first grade. He didn't do the chef's knife part way back then, but he's been using a chef's knife since fourth grade. He's in eighth grade now. And we love homemade guacamole, not because it's a great dip for chips, but mostly because it's a great dip for carrots and cucumbers and all our raw veggies. Because when you eat raw veggies, you want to have a healthy fat with them to help your body assimilate the vitamins and minerals. So Paul's using one whole avocado. You saw how he carefully cut it around, thwacked the pit, twist, got rid of it in the garbage. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing now, Paul. So I'm using a fork to scoop it out and I'm trying to mash it while I'm doing it so that I don't have the whole avocado thing to smash when it's all in a bowl. Yeah, it's easy to get out the entire half of the avocado, but then you have to mash it in the bowl and that's actually like, especially for little hands, mashing it in the bowl is harder. They're not usually strong enough. And you can use something like an immersion blender, which we used to do, but that tends to allow a lot of air to get into your guacamole and then it's going to get browned faster. So we understand that it tastes better with this method. We're going to put a half a lime with the juice in to the guacamole and you can use a lemon too but they're usually bigger so you have like a lot of liquid. Mm. Oh it smells so good. It, it does taste different with lime versus lemon. They both work. You want to get enough in there not only for the flavor but also the acidity helps decrease that browning that can sometimes scare people away from guacamole and, and lose some of its flavor. Now we use an adobo seasoning. We'll make sure we have the recipe to how to do that homemade if you can't find a pre-mixed adobo. And you notice Paul's just kind of eyeing it up. How do you learn to do that? I've just done it so many times that I, I don't need to measure it. It's about a half a teaspoon adobo. And the most important but underappreciated ingredient is salt. About a quarter teaspoon. salt your guac. Yeah, if you taste your guacamole and you think, oh, it's kind of dull, it's kind of flat, almost always try a little more salt first. Paul likes to use the little holes. I think he's afraid of getting too much. Now, if it's me, I use the big holes and I go like this twice over the top for one avocado. That's it. Easy. We should have carrots to eat it with, huh? Yeah. Ta-da! Alright. Like that. Enough lime, enough salt, enough seasoning. That's really good. Lime might be the most important ingredient. I don't know. That's really good. We here at Kate's Cook Real Food are always encouraging you to eat more vegetables and get in the kitchen as young as you can and as often as you can. We try to make it easy and in Kids Cook Real Food we teach over 30 basic skills including some of the things you saw here. Chef's knife skills, measuring, eyeing up spices, mixing things up and making it taste good. Now if it's me, I use the big holes and I go like this twice over the top for one avocado. I know I made a mess, but I don't want to oversalt your guac. Is that okay? <laughs> you're yeah. Like, like mom. What? You're messing with mom. <laughs> yeah, the lime's all salty. That's it, I know. We'll clean it up. We should have carrots to eat it with, huh? Yeah. The magic of editing. Hang on. Mm -hmm. That wasn't double dipping. It's a flip. It's a flip a dip, not the double dip. Flip a dip's okay. Double dip, get to hit that parties. Stroll. Ta da!